Hey guys, so today me and Kaylee are installing the floor in the camper van, which is very exciting. Um, what we decided to do is go with a one inch XPS rigid foam insulation. Uh, there's a few different types of insulation out there. There's EPS, XPS, and then a poly ISO. Um, this stuff is the best um, for retaining uh, its temperature and also it's um, the most impact resistant. So we're going to have an inch of this covering the whole floor and then we're going to do two sheets of 3 8 plywood and stagger them so there's no seams over top of each other. Luckily there was a plywood floor um, already installed in the van when we got it. So we were able to use that as a template to cut out the foam and the plywood which has made things a lot easier so we didn't have to um, use any templates for going around the wheel wells and stuff because we already had them. So. That's definitely sped up the insulation, but all we're using to cut out the one inch foam um, is a knife and the old template. And then we're gonna go ahead and use that to trace out the plywood as well. We'll put the foam on top of the plywood, mark it out, and then cut it out with the jigsaw. So time to glue the rigid foam down. Um, we decided not to use any framing because we're using thicker plywood and this rigid insulation is actually made to avoid being compressed. So that plus the plywood on top, no problems uh, with compression and we wanted to completely insulate the entire f floor. If you put um, two by fours or any sort of framing, it creates a thermal bridge and it won't be as well insulated and didn't see the need um, to do the framing because we're going to be securing our cabinets um, to the walls of the van. All right, so we are using um, some thin rubber to fill in some of these larger gaps in between the ribs just for a little more support for the insulation. Um, this is just uh, some rubber material that I had laying around, but you can use um, anything that's a quarter inch thick. So if you want to buy some quarter inch thick uh, insulation, we can find some at the hardware store. So we're just going to go ahead and use this. But yeah, anything that will help support that insulation underneath. This is the uh, structure adhesive I'm using to glue down both the insulation and the plywood. Um, it's PL 9000 heavy duty extra strength. Um, it's supposed to be some of the toughest stuff. It's uh, all weather remains kind of flexible, so yeah, it should work pretty good. Hopefully it keeps everything stuck down. Another thing we're doing with the seams for the rigid foam, um, we use foil tape um, to help with the moisture barrier. All right guys, so we're putting down our second layer of plywood. We're actually doing two layers of 3 8 plywood because we wanted to stagger our seams and make it a little more structurally strong. Um, we're also gonna be using um, just standard PL uh, construction adhesive to glue each layer of plywood together. And then I'm gonna get some tires and lay them out um, to add a whole bunch of weight and then we're gonna leave it out for a couple days to dry. Got all the plywood installed, laid out some tires for weight so the glue can dry overnight. Um, feels pretty solid. So far so good. And we barely lost any headroom, so yeah. Floor is in, we've taken the weights, like the tires and the compressor right on here off to help the glue settle and it's solid. Like it feels really good. Um, now what we're doing is going around the edges and filling in with some spray foam. Um, the stuff's about 10 bucks a can, it's pretty cheap. Any hardware store usually has them. And we're just, yeah, going around the edges, filling in like all the gaps, sealing it off um, to make sure that vapor barrier is completely sealed. And then once this is dry, you can go around with a knife and just cut off the extra that's um, sticking out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the floor. So while me and Kaylee were editing this video, I wanted to go into a bit more detail about the rigid foam insulation. So three types, EPS, XPS, and poly ISO. 
I made the mistake of getting poly iso first, which was a huge mistake. After doing a bunch of research, I found out that the R value doesn't stay at six. It deteriorates as it gets colder. Like what kind of insulation yeah, it's deteriorates like when it's it gets Canadian colder? Made. Like, yeah. It gets cold here. <laughs> yeah. So don't get poly iso because once you go get into like negative 10, negative 20, the R value goes way down to like, I think R2 I read, whereas XPS actually gets a little bit better. So it's an R5 value per inch, but as it gets colder, it goes up a little bit, not a lot, but those um, were some of the biggest differences between those two. And then um, EPS is quite a bit cheaper, but it doesn't have as good R value, so it's a lot better to go with the closed cell, which is XPS. So. Point of this rant, get XPS, <laughs> not poly ISO like I did. <laughs> it's also better with um, like the weight distribution, right? Yeah, XPS also has a better uh, <laughs> compression value, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically it won't compress as much and because we didn't frame our floor, that's important to us because we don't yeah. want the weight of us walking around to be putting a divot in that mm -hmm. insulation. When you compress insulation, it also deteriorates the R value quite a bit. So if you want to um, leave it uncompressed. Thank you so much for watching if that sums up this video um next up is going to be going over the spray foam insulation that we did um mm -hmm. david did a really good job of that and we saved a ton of money by doing that by ourselves so keep your eyes peeled for that if you like this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already let us know if you have <laughs> any questions regarding the floor we did a ton of research and i think we did a pretty good job um it'll test uh yeah we'll see time how it we'll goes. test it but yeah yeah, let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or um, let us know what you did for your floor too. We'd love to hear kind of different things people have done. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see you next week. See you in the next one.